you added ailerons to this microplane with a 3.5 channel? Oh, come on. But we did it here at You Made That Fly. We added an extra channel right here. Now, this is a standard three wire servo. It only weighs two grams. But we did the secret sauce of adding it with a TC 3.2 controller. Originally, we were going to do all hardwired system because I'm an old school kind of guy. But I realized after weighing all the components, it was already way over the three grams that the TC board, this little board here, adds to your system. So with three grams, you have a whole microcontroller. You can do amazing things. In the controller that you have is the up and down. And this controls the left, right, the motors. So we have the yaw control. We have acceleration. And then we also have lights. And what we did is that we took off the controller pin here. We took a black wire off the extra plug. Now one wire goes to the light. Because it's a change in voltage on the, the extra pin, we just took the black wire off and put it over to the a pin of the TC and then did programming with the TC, so I have the power. It's just straight up to the power here. And all I have is just one wire, and you can have it to any pin. We just happen to have it to pin three on the TC, and we'll go over that in a second here. With that, the change of status, we programmed it, so every single time I hit the lights on, it moves the ailerons. And every single time I turn the lights off, it moves the ailerons. So the theory behind it is, is that it'll do a roll or do some kind of trick. And also notice that because we have so many linkages here, these are not very strong servos. I still have to clean up some of the linkage resistance, but it still works pretty cool. And it's very repeatable. And so now we have an ability with this on off switch, so to speak, that more than just lights, we can do a whole bunch of other things. But of course I had to add the lights to it because every plane has to have lights. Let's go over to the big board and check out how we program this bad boy. This is the Arduino program code. This is really stock off the shelf kind of deal. All we did was take our center position is right here. This is tells where the servo needs to be. This is the end position. The read pin is basically what it's going to read on the board. And then uh, all we did is make a threshold of 800. So in other words, it reads the voltage as an A to D converter. And I believe it has uh, uh, 0 to 1,200-ish. I can't remember. But it's basically 800 is the midway point. And we just basically addressed the, the pin mode as an input. We attached the aileron. That's the library that we called up. We tell it to center the position. Now we're going to go into the loop. In other words, it's going to constantly come around and around and around, constantly be looking at the voltage. The first thing we're going to look at is going to read the voltage out of that pin. Right now we're saying it's pin 3. If the voltage has changed, the switch status has changed. If it's high, it goes low. If low, it goes high. Then we just change the center position and then the end position and then loop back around again. The signal coming out of the TZ is a pulse code modulated signal to the servo. That's how the servo works. It has two wires, uh, one for the positive, one for the negative to run the circuit. And then the third wire is the signal on a standard servo. And they Standard Servo uses pulse code modulated little square waves, and basically by the frequency, it changes. So the center position, as we have here, is 100, and the end position 
is 75. So it's 180 degrees is the full sweep. Zero is the other side. So 100 is right here. 75, 100. So all we're having it do is just move. And the reason why we chose the TC is that we can program this. So if instead of having to make a hardware change and changing resistor values, we can just do go in and change the program values much easier. And also on this, we chose to put the port for the programming right at the top here so it's easy to access. Also notice the bigger battery fits in here, so I'm not worried about sucking too much power. And then this actually takes our center of gravity right on the, along the lines of the wings and just where we want them. So always remember it's easier to start with a nose heavy plane than it is a tail heavy plane. And then when, once we get the thing balanced out correctly, we can actually just adjust the size of the battery and basically trim out the plane. So I'm really excited to fly this. I think it's gonna fly great. Again, we got the special airfoil we talked about. It's a three layer airfoil and we press the button. Obviously the sky's the limit as far as creativity, as far as what you wanna do with it. I don't know. I have some ideas of some cool light patterns that we can put in there and some alternating ideas for different sounds and different things to do, but that's in future episodes. I'm excited to go fly this thing. We'll post some uh, videos on the flying section as to how this flew. But from all of us here at You Made That Fly, keep flying, my friends.